Oh yeah, I'm walking. And I build new player friendly deep brand stuff. But when I first started playing, I uh, had a hard time finding starter ships that were decent. And so I made the Ugly Duckling line. Maybe I'll make another video about those. But today's video is about uh, industry. And one of the more common pieces of industry that people want to aspire to is Warp Cell Factory. So I've built a warp cell factory on a blueprint. It's on a large static, or industry has to be on a, on a static. But we want to make it easy for you to uh, deploy it, understand what's going on with it, and uh, be able to grow into it and add to it. So let's get this started. I've got a lot of components. This up a little bit higher just so we can see underneath it. So, every piece of industry gets its own container. That way, you can grow into it. Containers can only have 10 links off of them. Uh, so, if you add more industry to them, let's say you want to make fuel. Yeah, most of the stuff here you need to make fuel uh, for most most of the fuels. Or if you want to make uh, containers, uh, you can do that by adding onto this. So starting over here, we have all of the raw ore. Each one gets its own container. I label them all via screens, make it easy for you when you walk up to them. This is kind of the intended the beginning of the uh, uh, industry. Also notice uh, there's a name on the container. Every container is labeled throughout this. I originally labeled all the industry units, but the blueprints don't keep those, unfortunately. But you can find out, so, you know, pedal out here. We put the uh, pedal out through here, the uncommon refinery, and out comes lithium. So, like I said, every container gets a name. Make it easy on you. And I kind of try to do it in phases, so get all the ore refinery on this end and most of the beginner parts are over here I kind of ran out of room I didn't want to make it too wide so some of the beginner parts are over here and then we start getting into some of the uncommons uh, advanced and then finally at the end there's a single uncommon glass furnace that makes the warp cells goes into a large container and I put a, a container hub on this one just so you can you can add to it. Of course, you could break any of the links throughout this and add container hubs if you wanted to, maybe for your ore, if you wanted. Uh, everything's already linked, so the blueprints do keep the links for you, and everything should be linked up. Now, if you're wondering what all the colors mean, I kind of try to color code where the links go uh, to help you understand uh, how how it would be linked, and just kind of grow, you know, help you understand. There's transfer units to uh, even out because some of the refining processes create other, uh, I guess they're sub uh, ores or something. I'm not real sure what they're exactly called. But uh, so I've got transfer units on them to transfer uh, the items in. So for instance, this one is coming off of uh, silver. So whatever's left over from the silver process gets moved over here and it is sulfur, so sulfur is a byproduct, or the word I was thinking of. So the transfer unit is going to transfer the extra sulfur into the sulfur uh, container, so that way, uh, otherwise it would just accumulate in there. The same way with oxygen and hydrogen, that, which is a byproduct of several things. So they come over here and get dumped into the oxygen and hydrogen container. This is really the only container that's a combined, but it'll... Uh, and oxygen and hydrogen is used for some of the products, but you will have to monitor this container and make sure it doesn't fill up. Because once it fills up, they can't transfer anymore. And eventually some of these might back up with oxygen and hydrogen. Uh, you can also start making fuel, because fuel is needed uh, along with the, like nitron. I think it's coal or I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but anyway, I know oxygen and hydrogen is used 
to make uh, simple fuels so you can add on uh, uh, fuel uh, industry to eat, uh, use up some of that. Um, the blueprint costs three million and then I sell all the schematics as well as a service right through with that as well as uh, the voxels if you do the voxel version. I also have the same version of this blueprint without all the voxels. You don't care to see the voxels, you just don't want to deal with it. Uh, I do sell the, the voxels as well. And the industry units can be uh, bought as a package uh, from a gentleman named Torsten in GTS City, the same city you're buying the uh, schematic from. And the, uh, there'll be information about how to get uh, the industry units from him there at the uh, at the location where you buy the blueprint. So I'm trying to make it a little easier for you so it's kind of a one-stop shop. Uh, a little bit of information, GTF City has a lot of vendors there and uh, the org as year has a pretty good sized shop where you can buy a lot of different things, ship parts and stuff. Good group of guys. Alrighty, so let's get this started. We've got a lot of uh, blueprints and everything to set up. So uh, transfer units don't need blueprints. You just have to find what you want to look for, apply it, comes in the screen, and basically these I just tell it to run constantly. Now of course it's not going to find anything, it's going to give us an error, but it's running. Same way with this thing. Do hydrogen. That'll move. I'll basically link just about all the containers to both of them. It's a little easier. Didn't have to have links on all of them, but everything else is pretty specific. Alright, so this is silver. So I'll drag this over here. Right click and set as active schematic where you can go to schematic selection. So you just right click, add it, jump to the production. Looking for uh, acrylamide, and we get pure silver and pure sulfur as a as the, uh, what comes out of it. Now these I don't run constantly because you may not want to use up all your ore. Uh, otherwise, it's going to fill up the container. Uh, it'll run until it fills up the container or runs out of ore. Uh, this I suggest you know five thousand, ten thousand, whatever, however much pure you want to keep on hand. Uh, ten thousand is a good round number. Thing to note, see this one has two byproducts, aluminum and silicon. It's not a whole lot of each, but it's a little bit and it adds up and helps. So it gives you a little extra of those T1s. If you notice, I'm looking at each one of these to see which one. Uh, so this is sodium. I can also look over here at the sign. The sign says natron, which is the ore. Uh, and the ore makes sodium, so I'm just looking at the name over here to see. Make sure I load the right one in it. And it's easier instead of trying to search through all of them because there's quite a few schematics in my backpack right now for everything that's needed. Again, this has got two byproducts. accidentally try to move the wrong type of schematic into the refiner, it'll give you an error. In fact, I'll show you on this next one. It's not so much. So let's say I try to drop this in there. It's going to give you an error. It's not compatible with this industry type. Get pure calcium for this. 
It's just a little dummy proof to some extent. Show you other methods instead of right clicking over here. That make these uh, checks this show only available. So select it, apply it, and touch it to the screen. So to me, it's a little easier just to right click. It seems to be a faster method. So I hit six to turn off my link tool. My tool bar may not be the same as everybody else's. I tend to move my stuff around some, but uh, everything's red on the on the factory units and entry units, and they're kind of flashing. That means they're jammed. Either they don't have input uh, components that they're looking for, or the output's full, so it'll flash red. Otherwise, if they're running, it'll be green. And if they've done their job, let's say they've done ten thousand uh, or and it's finished, it is in a maintain mode, it'll go to a solid red light. So if kind of from a distance you can tell everything going on. So these are all rigs or they're not running. Uh, Alright, so and again I'm looking at the name carbon, so I need to do a carbon transfer. I keep clicking on containers, I should be schematic. Just looking for the honeycombs or the honeycombs are in the list. And the CUs I just run aluminum. Almost hit maintain, just out of habit. Silicon container or silicon. So that's all the pures. Let's start over here. This one is polycarbonate plastic. We got three different plastics we make. Polycarbonate, polycalcite, polysulfide. Now these, uh, depending on what you're wanting to do and how big the container is, these are small containers. Uh, they hold saying 10,400 kilolitres, but I may have a boost on there. I don't remember if I boosted my containers or not. Uh, so however many 75 will go into this is how many you can make. I, use, I like round numbers. I typically do like uh, 500 uh, on my bigger uh, factory back in my base. I do large numbers, but I think I do uh, bigger containers. I also use more containers and transfer units because of my industry is big enough that I need more links. But, I mean, you start with 500, you can always go back and change it. Uh, keep in mind, if you get it boosted by somebody who's got, uh, you know, higher levels, you can't go in and make, make changes to it once you boost it, because um, if you make changes, it undoes the boost. Uh, this should be polycalcite.
And if I mispronounce one of these, don't be alarmed. Up in Texas. Yeah, I make all the jokes you want. Let's see. Let's call this QAG. I know it's not QAG. Don't know what it stands for. He doesn't tell you where, what it stands for. We've got another transfer unit here. This is for the Catalyst 3. Um, a lot of people will buy the Catalyst 3 schematic. Uh, you don't actually use up your Catalyst 3. So, like for instance, this Catalyst 3 goes in as one liter and it also comes out one liter. So it's used, but you recycle it. Uh, so part of my uh, setup is giving you uh, 10 liters of Catalyst 3. You only need three to get started because uh, there's three items that need it. And uh, we got a transfer unit that just moves it around. That's what uh, this guy's for. Let's go ahead and set it up. And like I said, I give you I've got 50 in my container here, but yeah, you'll, you'll have 10 of this, drop it in here, and that'll give you some expansion room, so, and like I said, it's kind of a waste to go buy the schematic, unless you're doing a lot of things that need Catalyst 3, um, so just, if you need more than 10, hit me up, I'll gladly uh, give you some extra, if I've got it on hand, or sell you some, or just go get it from the market, I don't know clue what they sell it for, but I can't imagine it's a whole lot. Uh, the schematic is not available on the Aliot. You have to go off planet to get Catalyst 3. Um, oh, I didn't look see which one this one was. And it is glass. Basic glass. It comes with like a top. Glass product. Yeah, I call it a basic glass and it's not. Now, uh, this is the only thing I give you to the schematics in the package. Uh, just in my testing, I uh, found that advanced glass, which is what this guy is, uh, it was having some trouble keeping up. Now, if, if you grow this really large, come on, let's say you want to run 20 cells at a time, you may have to reevaluate all these items and you may have to double up on some of them or get some boosts uh, going uh, in order to keep up with. Uh, you know, 20 output. I've only tested this setup with 5 output, and uh, like I said, advanced glass is what I did two of. I apologize if this is pronounced wrong. Don't know what it means. I could look it up. I'm too lazy for that. It's another glass. AGLI reinforced glass. Another one is the uh, Catalyst 3. The last one is the polysulfide plastic. It needs it. Now, for everybody watches the video, and uh, if you got questions or anything, feel free to hit me up on Discord. Uh, there's information how to find me on Discord and um, in my shop next to where you buy the blueprint. Not uh, hard to find. It's Walk Up One on the official Discord. Send me a, a message, and uh, you know I can help you out. Uh, if you, so, if you don't have the skills, but you do have to have some talents to. Uh, open up the uh, industry these days and so if you need help and you're on Aliot, I can help you if you happen to be off planet it might be a little harder for me to help you but you know we can make arrangements things come out I do have a few boosts I am not five five on any of this stuff but I do have a few small boosts that are helping a little bit and 
uh, sucks. If you get any questions or anything, feel free to hit me up. Yeah, I keep doing this out of order. No comment, that don't matter. I have several uncommons. Okay, so. That's wrong one. Don't keep expecting the names to be there. The common connectors. Basic connectors. If you've already started some industry. Unfortunately, you can't tie this setup into, well, not directly, uh, into your existing industry because different uh, core from the blueprint. I didn't know how you were talking to me about that thing. That's fun. Uh, so, I mean, you can deploy this, and then, you know, if you ever get some of this industry, it's kind of duplicated. But what you can do is you can deploy this and start moving stuff over if you really wanted to once you learned it. You know, kind of have you want to do, or you, you know, if you haven't done that much industry building, you can move your existing industry units into this one. Kind of have you want to do it. Um, I guess for a small fee, you know, depending on you know what size you want, I can come out and custom build onto your existing industry this the same setup uh, and bring it all. Um, I don't know if you got if you really want me to do that, hit me up, and uh, of course you have to give me build rights to your construct with your industry but uh, yeah we can talk about that uh, there's also a token you can buy on it's, I'm not the one doing it uh, for 50 million it gives you 144 uh, cells a day and uh, this place said nope I put the wrong one in there but yeah I was talking Anyway, uh, you buy a token, does you know this kind of same setup in a, I think it's a small, maybe a medium core, I don't know which, and it comes pre-boosted, uh, so it's not a bad deal. Fifty million. They've also got one for ninety million. That's two hundred eighty-eight cells a day. Um, so yeah, if you want more of a turnkey solution, go hit them up. It's not basically LED. Am I doing that wrong? Common LED. Yep. Again, I was talking. So to undo one, obviously it showed it was locked. You have to come over here and hit stop, and then you can take it out. Start this one back up. So uncommon LED. So this is okay. So this both quest furnaces. That's the reason why I didn't complain about it being because it's compatible. go into the subcomponents for the warp cells. Warp cell itself only has two components. And we'll cover that here in a second. Uh, this is going to be the basic uh, quantum core. So the last phase, we have two uh, advanced Advanced quantum core, advanced antimatter capsule, and then basically all these components we're going to make and go into these two things. And, uh, advanced.
advanced quantum alignment and advanced antimatter core. So you'll see this get See, there's five things listed here. I guess I didn't cover this earlier, uh, such a small list, but this is why I name all my containers. So that way I can tell at a glance uh, I've got everything linked correctly for all the parts. Uh, they don't put them in the same order as up here, but uh, it's just great for me for you know making sure I get everything so the way we need it. Advanced antimatter capsule. See all the all five components. And there you match it down here. And as you can see, there's quite a few. There's seven items that go into these. You know, basically, we have our basic quantum core, uncommon quantum core advanced quantum core, and then some LEDs, and then all the plastics go into this. So easily the most, most complicated part of this, all the links that are on it, going to all the different parts. Uh, by the way, if you didn't know this trick, control click while you're in link mode, holds the link on it, and it makes it blue, so from a distance, you can see it when you're trying to link your industry. Like I said, it holds it open. You need to, uh, if you're trying to trace one out, you need to right, uh, you need to delete it. You can delete it this way. Uh, right click and delete it. It also shows container names uh, for the link. So, a little bit of extra. And then control click on it again to turn the blue back off. Last one. Advanced antimatter core. Again, this one has seven components. Kind of the same way with the last one. We've got the basic antimatter, uncommon antimatter, and advanced antimatter, along with some basic components. Um, each one of these, you know, like I said, I'm I don't know if I'm boosted on this one or not, but anyway, 63 minutes uh, for each one of these. This is what takes the longest. Uh, it even takes longer than the warp cell. So the warp cell schematic has two components. Just the advanced antimatter core and advanced quantum alignment. Uh, so the last two components we just did. Now this one on mine, I've run continuously. You're welcome to do 500 and maintain 500 at a time. Then basically, if you don't run it all the time to get 500 in there or whatever you set it to, uh, these will eventually fill up to 500 each. And basically, everything will fill up to 500 each. So that way, when you pull, say you go pull 100 cells out, uh, it immediately start making them, and it won't be any slowdowns whatsoever. Um, with the warp cell, it only takes 50 minutes. Okay. If you notice, these took 63. So warp cell is always waiting on these. So what you can do is you can kind of double up on these to get ahead of it. Uh, but typically what I do is on my personal one, anytime I add a warp cell, I'm adding each one of the quantum core in, uh, not the quantum core, the quantum alignment in the antimatter core. So basically, and I sell these in, uh, in threes in the, schem in the schematics. So one of each of these as a bundle uh, in my shop so you can add to them. And let's see, you just need to add these uncommon electronics industries and an uncommon uh, glass furnace. And that will make your warp cells. Again, if you get any questions, feel free to hit me up. And uh, if you want anything customized, you know, we can talk, see if we can come up with something. Uh, feel free to add to it if you uh, 
do add to it. Send me a picture of what you do, what you do with it. I'm always interested in other ideas. Uh, kind of like the way it came out, the way it looks. It's all spread out. It's easy to easy to use. You know, like I said, we're on a large static, so you can definitely add on to it if you want to. Or like I said, move them over uh, onto your own core. Fortunately, you can't copy and paste. Uh, you don't want the boxes anyway if you do that. Uh, but you can't pick these up if they're running. You can try. Gives you an error. Even if you stop it, you can't pick it up because it's got a schematic. So you got to take all the schematics out before you move it. But and of course, when you move it, you're going to lose the links. But um, so write down all the links beforehand, or as you're doing these, uh, you can note. So you load the schematic. Uh, this won't be down here, but this will be here so you can show what to, what to link it. Hopefully this was helpful and uh, give me some uh, feedback and if you've uh, got any questions, let me know. Thanks, have a good one.